Hi everybody, welcome to my StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm Brutal Run. Uh, this isn't blind, I've played the game technically two times. Uh, once was a hard stream on my Twitch TV. Uh, it's archived if you would prefer to watch me do it blind. Uh, this one, I know more of what I'm doing because I also do uh, another Brutal Run on the side ahead of it, so I know what advice to give you. So I'm going to do it in my same style as my Wings of Liberty, which is, uh, I'm going to assume you do not know the story or anything, so I'm not going to spoil anything. Although, uh, I may spoil if something is coming up as if like a, a big attack or something like that, so just be warned about that. But no plot elements will be spo uh, spoiled. Um, and I will do it in a very walkthrough style, as in, uh, if you want, if you're having trouble with the Brutal Campaign, you can play with me and you can play going down the same tech tree as me. You may have to play from the beginning and see it, but I'm going to let all dialogue play, all cutscenes play. And I'm going to leave most of the dialogue for uh, the end and split each video up into as a, a single mission. So without further ado, let's get started. Brutal. Orders, sir. No visit. Open the door.
The test protocol will begin in two minutes. Make the most of this test. It's your last one. Now give us a minute. Very well. We're getting out of here tonight, darling. Good. Then we can go after Mengsk. Forget Mengsk. Forget all of it. This is about you and me. Until Mengsk is dead, there can't be a you and me. I moved heaven and earth to bring you back, Sarah. I can't watch you throw that away just for revenge. Initiating test phase two. I never gave up on you, Sarah. Don't you give up on us. Test phase two, commencing. What are you hoping to get out of these tests, Valerian? I told you, I don't remember anything about being the Queen of Blades. We have to find out how much of the Zerg mutagen is left in your system. I appreciate your cooperation, Kerrigan. Do you usually keep cooperative people in a containment cell? When we know it's safe, I'll unlock your door myself. Now, can you reach out with your mind? Do you sense it? A drone? Are you really asking me to take control of a Zerg mind? Do you know what could happen? All the test subjects are in a secure environment. Before you're asking, yes, this is really a tutorial and a brutal run of this game. Are you able to control it? Yeah, I have it. Okay, the next step. See if you can order the drone to mutate into a hatchery. A hatchery is the central structure of the Zerg base. It spreads creep so that other structures can be built. The hatchery also produces lava, which you use to morph into more drones or other Zerg creatures. When you use lava, the hatchery will replenish them over time. Okay, Kerrigan. I'm releasing more drones into the test chamber. See if you can order them to gather those resources. Am I doing good, guys? Really hard for Brutal, huh? <laughs> but, yeah, this is, um... I, I don't... This is not skippable. I don't know why it's not skippable, but... Here you go. You're doing well, Kerrigan. Can you morph more drones? I need an overlord to morph anything else. Do it then. One overlord shouldn't hurt. The Zerg use overlords to generate more supply. Your current supply maximum is displayed in the upper right corner of the screen, along with how much supply you are currently using. If you do not have enough available supply, you will not be able to morph a unit. Ah, uh, suicide orb lord. Bam. <laughs> Just have, have a stare down. Excellent. I plan to stop here, but let's take this a little further. Try mutating a drone into a spawning pool. The spawning pool allows the hatchery to turn lava into zerglings. I can just imagine a casual player is going, I want to start some brutal. You know this is going to end badly, right? We have a controlled environment. The spawning pool is finished. You should go down to the test chamber and inspect it. I can see just fine from up here, thanks. I think that's all we need today, Kerrigan. Great work. If you think that was great work, Wait till you see this. I'll make some Zerglings. Not enough minerals. Kerrigan, 
What are you doing? Putting your controlled environment to the test. Additional overlords required. Yeah, I'm gonna need more overlords. That's okay. Five groups is good. Stop! I didn't ask you to create Zerglings! Funny thing about Zerg, Valerian. They never do what you expect. Shut down the experiment. Get sentry bots in there to sanitize those holding cells. Lock down on the sublevel and power up the Eradicator. Nothing gets out! Maybe if I destroy your pretty Eradicator, you'll learn you can't control the Zerg. So now, the tutorial sort of ends and the game actually begins. So, we get to go out and attack with these Zerglings. Um, the, the really sad thing is, these these sentries suck. I sense more Zerglings in holding pens. Valerian, you were very careless. Perhaps I'll free them too. Containment breach. Zerg specimens free. Evacuate the scientists. Get all personnel out of there. Like, it, if only they had like a couple Marines or something. That would have been far more useful. Because like like 12 Marines would just wreck this. It's like nothing in Zerglings. More Zerglings. Good. I can use them. So we're just gonna keep reinforcing it. Uh, oh well, I don't have enough minerals, and I can't reinforce them anymore. Kerrigan, this is not a game. It never is with the Zerg. You know, I don't. I don't think the Zerg made her into a bitch. I think she's just naturally a bitch. That's just how it goes. <laughs> oh, Kerrigan. What? One. One. One of the finest. Uh, one of the one of the finest villains of all time in any video game. E even when she's a good guy, she's still a bad guy. Zerg, run! Damn it! Get all personnel off that level. I'm sure Zerglings have feelings too. All personnel remain on It's all out of control. Containment door closed. Automated gas defense activated. That containment door won't open until I destroy those turrets. That gas is hurting my Zerglings. Oh, your poor Zerglings. Things are a bit more damaging on, on Brutal, and there's a couple more enemies. The door's open. Now to destroy the Eradicator. I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna just regroup for a second. Alright, let's go. See if we can continue the... To press the attack. These these things do only like five damage each. Like they're just they're not too good. They're they're basically like crappy marines with big big guns for some reason. And continuing, the, 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 the guys I made there were perfectly fine. Like the the drones. I don't need you don't need to make more miners. You just keep reinforcing them. You have more zerglings here. Well, they're mine now. Not enough minerals. Yeah, unfortunately, they're going now in the incorrect direction because the uh, when you set a rally point, you kind of have to reset it once in a while because Zerglings die, as we all know. Zerglings, very expendable units. Uh, not a whole lot of emphasis on them throughout the campaign, I feel, uh, because you can get some cool little upgrades for them. Uh, but you know, I, I it's it's a matter of uh, your preference. I, actually, I probably shouldn't have gone for these ones. This is probably just a waste of Zerglings to go after these guys, but whatever. You can kind of see on the map, like, me reinforcing them, too, which is kind of cool. Also, I have my mode set to only the damage units uh, show health bars. Uh, so that's something important to note. We hurt this guy. For, they added a whole bunch of new features in Heart of the Swarm. It's actually kind of cool, the UI, if you're, if you're into that. You made your point, Kerrigan. Not yet, I haven't. I'm still in your containment cell. Eradicator activated. Alright, so we're gonna get a nice surround on this guy, and then the rest of these can go and like just like go after him. And this is like this is the final thing that you're supposed to kill. 
That's it. We're done. Eradicator destroyed. Situation critical. The Zerg have overrun the sublevel. You're lucky no one was killed, Kerrigan. Luck had nothing to do with it. And maybe now, you understand how dangerous the Zerg are. I'll send them back to their pens. I appreciate that. I'm opening your cell right now, if you'd like to join me. And perhaps next time you can make your point without destroying half the facility. Well, uh, so this one, we got the Zergling out of that. Uh, achievements in this in, in uh, uh, Heart of the Swarm are not exactly very difficult to get. Uh, so apparently I, I could have destroyed the factories, but that wasn't actually a part of the thing. So you get one achievement always for completing the mission, doesn't matter what difficulty. Uh, the second one is always something like destroy sentry bots. Uh, well, I'm sorry, the, the second and the third are always something else, but um, they're, they're not hard. So I'm not even going to bother really explaining it to you because you can do it on like normal or any difficulty. They're really easy. It's kind of disappointing. Uh, one of the more disappointing parts because I kind of like the challenge of some of the uh, Wings of Liberty uh, campaign missions, uh, but uh, well, in, with respect to achievements, but whatever. So 35 uh, bots, I got like that many, and I beat, I, I beat it in under 10 minutes by just two seconds. Nice job, me. You made a mess down there, Sarah. Starting to regret bringing me back? <laughs> Never. I heard about what happened with your friend Tychus. I'm sorry. He made his choice. I made mine. Maybe you should have let him kill me. I slaughtered millions as the Queen of Blades. That wasn't you, Sarah. Leave the past behind, and let's focus on getting out of here. I'll suit up and meet you here in an hour. Okay. That sounds good. Thank you. 